Okay, it's me, the Caduzzi. All right, I had a totally need to vlog today because I've been thinking so much about this guy-girl thing that I think I'm totally onto something. I know I'm onto something because I was I did a joke. I started it like four years ago or something, and Colin Quinn saw me do it. And he's like, Sue, you're onto something. Keep going. <laughs> and it's because I was defending the guys. Like I get on stage and I'm like, I'm totally defending the guys because I think we're ruining the men. I think women are ruining the men, and I'm saying it. I never thought I would ever say that. I never thought that I, Susie the Caduzzi, would ever say that we are ruining the men. When a woman meets a guy nowadays, the first thing she does, she tries to change him. She does. She's like, I need you to be more sensitive. I need you to be more understanding. I need you to be more like me. And then six months goes by, you stripped him of all his masculinity and something scary happens. You're like, oh my God, I'm scared. And he's like, oh, me too. <laughs> it has to stop. I'm serious. I can't even believe it. Like, I'm so fascinated with, like, I remember, this is, I watched Grease growing up, and there was a line, Frankie, Frank, whatever her name is, Frenchie, had this line. She's like, guys are dogs. Guys are worse than dogs. Guys are fleas on dogs. Guys are worse than fleas on dogs. Guys are amoebas on fleas on dogs. And I believe that. Like, those are the movies I saw growing up, and everybody in my neighborhood was always like that, you know. Guys will screw you over, they'll this and that. I don't know, I just think we were giving them way too much credit. <laughs> I don't even think they could figure out a plan to screw you over if, if, if they tried. Like, they only can only do one thing at a time. That's what I'm realizing. Like, no offense, guys, but it's just the truth, right? Like, cause this, is how, this is when it really struck me. I was going to the beach with my friend Joe, and we were picking up my friend Jimmy. We were going around the corner. We were literally, a, like, right on the corner around from Jimmy's house. And Joe called Jimmy, and he said, Jimmy, do me a favor. Bring me some socks because I want to rollerblade at the beach. We went around the corner. We picked up Jimmy and we were halfway to the beach and all of a sudden Jimmy's like, ah, ah, oh, I forgot the stupid socks. Ah. And I remember just turning around looking at him thinking, he didn't do that to a girl. He didn't forget anything on purpose to hurt a girl. That's his best friend. And Joe had just asked him two seconds before and he forgot. He just literally forgot. And he felt terrible about it too. And it was the first time that I was able to separate and be like, they don't do it to girls. It's not a personal thing. And then I started thinking like, and what, who set this whole thing up that guys are supposed to take care of the girls? It's totally crazy. <laughs> not that I think we're the better, you know, uh, gender. I just think that maybe we might be able to multitask a little bit more. And then when we expect a guy to like take, it's crazy. I don't, I mean, I have some friends, like, lately, like, this one girl, I've been just going for the gentle thing lately, and it's been working. Like, I had this one girl, she came up to me, and she was talking about, she went on this date with this guy. And she's like, Sue, I really, really liked him, and I hope he calls me, I hope he calls me, I hope he calls me. And I was like, well, does he know you want to go out with him again? And she's like, no. I'm like, well, why don't you tell him? And believe me, I mean, just tell him. I don't mean call him up and chase him and try to have his babies and everything. I just mean be authentically honest and say, I like, I'd like to see you again. That's it. And guess what? She did it. And she's been dating him for, like, two years. <laughs> and then I had this other girl call me, this younger girl, and she's like, Sue, I really like this guy, and I hurt my foot, and I really want him to come over and see me. And she was so, like, victim, like, oh, I want him to come over. Why doesn't he want to come see me? And I was like, well, well, did you tell him that you wanted him to come see you? And she's like, no. And I was like, well, call him or text him and tell him that you want him to come visit you. And she was like, oh, my God, I can't. I'm like, why? And then I'm like, say something nice. Like, they like compliments. I'm like, say something like cute face or something. She's like, oh, I can't say that. I'm like, say whatever your version of cute face is. Guess what? He came over in like 20 minutes. <laughs> and then I've been listening to my friends lately. Like, the guy does one thing, like, which appears to be nice. And then the girl's like, what if he really loved me, he would do this. And I thought, but you're missing the thing that he did that, that showed that he loved you to begin with. And I'm thinking, well, maybe it's the girls that have, like, fear of intimacy, too. And also, if a guy, this is the truth, like if a guy gets his heart broken in like sixth grade, he's done for life. Like for life. Girls, like I literally, the first guy, like the first guy, well I don't want to be fairly personal, but it was a very, very big event in my life. If you know what I mean. <laughs> he literally threw me down a flight of stairs. He picked me up and chucked me down the stairs. Like that's, that was it. That's how he broke up with me. He threw me down the flight of stairs and like three weeks later... I was already dating somebody else. I was like getting ready to go skiing, my friend Brian and how we were at my house. And I'm like, how's my, pan how's my ass looking these pants? <laughs> I 
Guys, if you like, don't play, you know, ring around the rosy with them in the play playground. They're like totally terrified. And then I started thinking, oh, everybody says they're dogs. They're not dogs. They're scaredy cats. That's what they are. They're scaredy cats. They're afraid. Because everybody's like, oh, they're afraid of commitment. And I'm like, well, if they didn't think the girl was going to be a commitment, then why would they be afraid? Like, if they, they must like her enough that it scares them, right? And then I'm like, that's what it is. And we're, they're trying to pretend that they're all cocky and they're dogs. They're not. They're scaredy cats. And then my friend Carol, she has this cat, and she, I was at her house in the summer, and, she, and it's a feral cat, which means like it was out, and had never been touched or anything, it was like totally like a wild animal, and she brought it home, and it was like in her house for like six months, like literally six months, and it would hide out, and it wouldn't come anywhere near, and she told me, she's like, she would cry, the cat, I'm just going to have a cat that doesn't love me, I'm just going to have a cat that doesn't love me, and then one day, she just left it alone, and one day, it came out and rubbed against her leg. And I thought, that's what guys are. They're like feral cats. They need their room, they need their caves, they need their space. And if you give it to them, one day they'll come out and they'll rub against your leg. <laughs> so girls, like let's just, I'm gonna be the spokesperson. And I don't care if anybody else doesn't believe me. I'm telling you, it works. Let's be gentle to the guys. Let's not expect them to do everything. Let's not expect them to be, you know, more than they are, because they aren't dogs. They aren't. And you know what, most guys, it's a fact. They don't cheat on women for sex. They cheat on women because the women that they cheat with tell them that they're awesome, that they're handsome, and that they're excellent, and that they really appreciate them. And who cares? Just tell them. Tell them that they're excellent. Tell them that they're awesome. Make them a little food. Have a little sex, and then leave them alone. And I promise he'll come out, and he'll rub you right on the leg. <laughs> Unless you have a fear of intimacy, because they're not really dogs, they're scary cats.